Hi, um, I'm gonna show you how to do a gum transfer from a photocopy or from a laser copy. Um, so first of all, you need to have your fresh photocopy or laser print. And then um, please make sure that it's not an inject uh, print. You need to have some oil, some copper oil or some linseed oil, thin um, Arabic gum. I've got some Arabic gum here. It's not seasoning, it's Arabic gum. Um, I've got a spatula. I've got oil-based inks. I've got myself a little brush, a uh, foam brush as well, but it could be a, a, a normal brush. I've got myself a roller, uh, just soft, preferably not too hard. I've got myself some um, sponges, a bowl with uh, some sponges and a little bit of water. And what I want to start off is not only you need your photocopy to transfer, but you also need to have a paper to transfer it into. I want to show you a process that I've been building up um, with uh, different types of um, printmaking techniques. So I've got a screen print here and on top of the screen print I, I embossed um, a stencil um, roll up color um, and then I uh, used relief to create this kind of orangey on top of it and this is a little bit of what is the bourgeois technique that I've shown you before um, and now I'm going to apply um, a chine collé with a trans a gum transfer in it okay so let's focus on that for the moment the first thing I need to do is I've actually cut out the photocopy to a specific size and shape um, I need to have a surface here it doesn't need to be glass but it can be a metal surface and we're gonna just pour a little bit of that Arabic gum into our glass and then I'm going to apply it to the back of my uh, photocopy because what I want to do is I want it to stick to it and then I'm gonna put Arabic gum on the surface so you apply the gum but you also want to thin it down so this stage I would get the sponge out and take away all the water there's no water in it so it's the sponge dam and I'm just gonna pat it a little bit and I'm gonna remove the gum that is on the top and just pat in it of course if you use a lot of water in in the image it's paper so it might start breaking so you don't want to rub it you just want to pat it like that okay I've got my ink um, I made a combination between blue and black so it's a dark dark blue and um, I'm gonna add a little bit of that oil so I'm just gonna pour it aside for you to see how much oil I'm actually using. So I'm gonna grab little by little just to check on the consistency. I just wanna make it a little bit more loose. So if we check the viscosity, you lift the ink and mix it up. You see that lifts a bit more and I'm actually gonna put all the oil and give it a good mix okay. lovely so I'm going to 
make a line so you're not you keep it a bit more in control the amount of ink that you're you have on the table so I'm gonna start rolling it out remember to lift it up change directions it's a little thing here working on to have the same amount in the whole roller I've got my roller ready and I've got my photocopy ready so I'm going to start rolling the photocopy quickly it's not completely stuck on the glass I'm gonna use my sponge to remove a little bit of the of the ink that should not be staying on the white areas so I just gently remove that so I'm gonna try first with the ball pen um, just because I want to see if you can use it at home instead of a barren so I put a piece of newsprint on top and I'm actually kind of working with the pen on top of my um, print. So of course it has a drawing here effect on it. If I remove that, you get that transfer from there to there. Okay? Use the same image as a matrix. It won't last tons, but we can we can work with it again. So I'm gonna use that already printed um, material that I have and I'm gonna lift it up gently carefully. I'm gonna place it where I want it to be. Maybe here. Okay, it's placed there. Now I'm not going to use the ball pen. I'm going to use the same newsprint I used before. And then I'm going to use the barren that I have and just work on it. If you don't have a barren at home, you might have a wooden spoon or a metal spoon. You know, if it's got a curve, it'll work fine. And press down when you're doing it. Let's see. You get a good print. No, not the same quality. Okay. So that's what we got. Very fainted. Um, but if I still use the same image, and work with the pen we, we might get more so I'm gonna play with that in certain areas I'm gonna have a little bit more information let's have a look if it works uh, or not okay. yeah it works you see um, if I'm doing a chine clay and you're at home, the way you would go forward on doing it would be using rice glue and um, just applying the rice glue on the back of your um, paper and then just putting it through and using the spoon or the barrel. Get the back of it, put some rice glue. And make sure you're going outside of the paper so that you're covering covering it all and the edges don't get lifted. 
Ideally, these would be done with a press, but not having a press is not going to stop us from making artwork. So, um, I can see I need more um, more glue. So I'm going to apply some glue here. Now the paper was uh, thin to begin with, so these allows us to have a better, um, better read of what's going on behind it. Okay, and I—that's how I work. I work with an image and then let it rest and then come back to it and add things to it um, as I go along. Um, so I'm gonna let this rest and then have a look at it to see if this piece is, is ready or not. Okay, I hope you like this video. See you all.